Now, the People's War is a very complicated strategy and it has very many different elements. Perhaps the easiest way to describe it is to say that it has two main strands, a political struggle, which can take many forms, including demonstrations, and a military struggle, which in more accurate translation from the Vietnamese is a program of violence. And the two must work together. And the idea is that all people living within the arena of conflict are regarded as combatants and as weapons of war, which are expendable just in the way that conventional arms would be expendable in a conventional war. So that um, people must be drawn into the political struggle, they must go out into the streets and demonstrate. They must also give aid and support to those who are waging the program of violence. And together, they create a sense of ferment in the country. They contribute to a situation of ungovernability, when in particular, the representatives of the state at local level, local councillors, local policemen, tribal chiefs can be driven out and a liberated area can be created. And the more the liberated areas expand, the more the power of both the government and of all political rivals is reduced. <laughs>